Welcome to another SolarWorks video by NCCS, your SolarWorks provider. In today's video, we'll take a look at mesh settings in SolarWorks simulation. Let's take a static study for example. Once we have added um, our parts, so here we can apply a mesh, create mesh. We've got several mesh parameters available to us. Uh, I'll just go through them quickly. We've got standard mesh, which are good for symmetrical uh, meshes, but they might fail when representing small features and curved geometries. Whereas the curvature based mesh, they are variable element sizes that can improve the accurate resolution of small features in the geometry. Curvature based mesh is considered the fastest uh, measure, but it can result in large aspect ratios. The last one we've got is a blended curvature based mesh, and this type of mesh can resolve issues with large aspect ratios or failures from the curvature based mesher. However, it is the slowest of the three. So here we've got the global uh, mesh size, the maximum element size and minimum element size. For a curvature based mesh, we've also got another option which is the uh, minimum number of elements in a circle. So if a circle um, exists in your model, that will be the number of elements around that circle. So just down the bottom, we've got uh, something called element size growth ratio. What this is, is uh, SolarWorks will use this ratio uh, to define the transition of the mesh from the minimum element size to the maximum element size. Most of the time, the default mesh settings will produce a mesh that provides acceptable discretization errors while keeping solutions times reasonably short. Let's go ahead and mesh our model. We can see a fairly uniform um, element size throughout the model. Now let's take a look at mesh control. So when you right click onto the mesh, you can apply mesh control. I'll apply a mesh control on these edges here because we expect that they will experience larger uh, stress because of their sharp edges. Here we can fine tune the density locally. We can also specify the element size and the ratio if needed. Let's just go create mesh. And you can see we get much finer mesh here. So by applying a local mesh control, we can place small elements in areas that are expected to experience high stress. And the benefit in applying local mesh than changing the mesh density globally is that we can allocate our computing power only to areas of concern or areas that we expect to get a high stress. Therefore, the high level of accuracy is needed and we can do that. Or alternatively, um, if we want to find whether these edges will experience singularity, we can apply a mesh control and as our mesh gets finer and finer, the stress value should get higher and higher and will give us a um, diverging result. 
Thank you for watching another SolarWorks video by NCCS, your SolarWorks provider.